Dear colleagues, this is FICO emulsification of a white mature cataract. The cataract is non intumescent and it is not very hard. I've taken up this case for surgery, main incision, and one side port has been made. One air bubble has been injected into the interchamber. Now, this is the type and blue dye being injected underneath the air bubble. When we inject dye underneath an air bubble, the dye doesn't get diluted by aqueous humor and staining of the uh, staining of the anterior capsule becomes very fast. This is adrenaline and see what happens. As soon as I inject adrenaline, the people is dilating. It's just like magic. Yes, I injected adrenaline because the people was dilated but not fully dilated. And this much dilatation will help me in surgery and it will definitely help in my capsular excess. This is SPMC, hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. And now I am going to do capsular excess. I take a 26 case bent needle, incise the capsule and raise a flap. I hold this capsular flap with a uteta forceps, go anticlockwise. I tint the anterior leaf of the main incision. By tint, I mean I give an, an upward thrust and thus I prevent leakage of viscoelastic substance. Yes, in this way we can do rexis at on go. This is hydro dissection. At multiple points, the nucleus is tapped behind and rotated. And now is the time to introduce the tip of the FECO handpiece. In this case, I'm going to use Oatly Catrix Easy FECO machine. I have two machines. One is FECO Catrix Easy. Another one is Catrix 3. And see how I'm doing direct chop. What I do is, I make one or two skulls, then go directly into the substance of the nucleus, bury the tip, hold the nucleus in FECO in position 2 of FECO 2. I get a very firm hold, very firm grip, and then I chop. This chopper is very small, just a modification of Sinsky hook. It was designed by me and it is available with Joja Surgicals. Please ask for steel ones. The titanium ones are very costly. The steel ones are perfectly fine. And I am using FECO power of 60%, flow rate 45, vacuum 450. In this setting, I am completing the case from beginning to end. And now I remove the chopper, the antechamber becomes more stable, and I emulsify the last few bits of the nucleus. And now I inject a little bit of moxie, a uh, little bit of SPMC. And in this case, since I have done only one side port, I'm going to use a Simcoe cannula, not a bimanual. This patient belongs to our free service category. And in such cases, we are doing fecal emulsification and foldable intraocular lens implantation. Because foldable intraocular lens, hydrophilic ones, made in India are really economical and we can afford those lenses for our free service category patients. Here it is. The lens is being implanted under irrigating fluid, keeping the interchamber formed under irrigation. The lens has gone into the capsular bag. And now the lens is dialed and it is nicely set in the capsular bag. And now this is a little bit of moxifloxacin. Now I hydrate the single side port that I made in this case. I inject little bit of BSS. 
I don't like too much of stromal hydration and this is the final lavage of entry chamber and during this lavage viscoelastic substance that sticks to the corneal endothelium comes out that's it now I form the entry chamber and conclude the case thank you very much hope this video will help you in your practice it help you in developing your surgical skills thank you love you very much